couple of different uh, video casts here of using uh, Prezi's CSS editor in order to have a little bit more control over what you're doing in your presentation. Uh, the CSS editor is a feature that is maybe not so widely known, uh, but it is one where if you know what you're doing, you can have a lot more control over how things are done. Um, so this is just a, a sample demo Prezi that I've worked up. And all it is is it's just an, uh, a PDF graphic of the <laughs> citric acid cycle, uh, which is probably a review for a lot of folks who are looking at this. Um, and, you know, it's uh, just an example diagram. Um, I'm going to use the CSS editor today in order to show you how to actually um, turn some elements into maybe a little bit more useful elements, at least in, in teaching. So Prezi has this shapes menu, and you have shapes of all sorts of different uh, kinds. You've got triangles, rectangles, and circles. And We're going to deal with the circle. So the circle right now is um, just a, a circle. It's kind of a shaded in circle, and it's not super useful for me if I want to uh, highlight an element in a diagram like this. Right now, it's got this kind of uh, shaded in thing, and um, you know, it's not really doing much for me right now. I'd have to put elements on top of it, and I can't do that with this particular diagram just because of the way it is. I should note that I'm in just the original theme. I haven't done much to change the theme. And we're going to bring up the CSS editor. So in order to do that, uh, you go to the manual side of the theme wizard, and right down at the bottom, it says in really tiny type, it says, need to define more details? Use the Prezi CSS editor. And So we click that link and this brings up the CSS that underlies uh, the Prezi. So uh, CSS, if you don't know about it, is just a, uh, a markup language that uh, specifies how elements look. It's just an easy way, if you uh, know CSS, it's an easy way to get in and change the way that things look. And you can see that it looks pretty uh, complex probably if you've never seen CSS before, but um, you declare different kinds of classes uh, with this at sign and then the name of the class and then you specify how those classes are going to look with an open curly bracket and then some uh, code that goes in and the thing about CSS code is you've always got some sort of command or some sort of specification with a colon and then you have the um, parameter how you want to set it with a semicolon that follows and you need to have those in there if you don't have the colon and then the semicolon it's not going to work similarly if you don't uh, you know, spell things correctly, it's not going to work. You know, computers are really dumb. So we want to make sure that when we're in here that we're uh, pretty careful about what we're doing because if we have a semicolon where we're supposed to have a colon or any of those sorts of things, uh, we're going to have problems. Um, we're just not going to be able to get what we want to do. So for today, what, what I want to do is I just want to focus on changing the circle and making the circle more useful. And so uh, the circle element is declared in this kind of circle class right here. It's kind of in the middle of the overall CSS text. Um, and the circle class also kind of feeds into the shape class in general. And so uh, we want to make sure that things agree. Uh, in the shapes down here, um, those will specify parameters that are in there will, will overwrite anything that we do to kind of the master circle. So uh, right now, let me see if I can demonstrate what that looks like. So we're going to go into the master uh, circle class, and we're going to do a couple of things. Um, the first thing that I want to do is I want to change the thickness of the border. So the uh, command for that is just border thickness, and that's spelled like this, where it's all one word, borders lowercase, capital T and thickness, and then a colon, and then we need to give a value. So I'm going to go with a value of, let's say, 10. And so I'm going to use my semicolon to close it out, and that's kind of where it's at. All right. The other thing that I want to do is I want to specify um, the color of the element. So I want the element to be basically clear. And so when I do that, it's the color command, color, colon, and then I need to put in the code for clear, or in this case, white will be the corollary for clear. And so um, white, and we're going to use hex codes here. The white hex code is uh, F, 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 but you can also just call that F, F, F in hex code land because uh, it's duplicate. All right, and so if we do that and we click apply, you'll see that nothing has happened. And the reason why nothing has happened here is because if we go down to these different shapes, you can see that we have um, still overrides here that have kind of specified uh, 
different things for, for the shapes. So instead of this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and I'm going to get rid of any border thickness in any of my current shapes. So there's border thickness 1, border thickness 2, border thickness 3. See how it's always set to 0 in these border thicknesses? That's currently overriding my master preference for what I want border thickness to look like. All right, and so now that that's done, if we click Apply, you'll see that oh, now my border is much, much thicker, but I still have this kind of red underlying thing in there that just is not particularly pleasant looking. And so there's a couple of different ways that I can kind of get around this, but what's happening if we look here is that you see we have gradient colors. We have a start and an end color, and so I want to get rid of those too. All right, so these gradient colors are kind of mucking up the works. So we've got anything that talks about a gradient here, we definitely want to get rid of. And so it's just a, a matter of going through and removing everything so that all we have in our shape style declaratives are the colors. And we want to keep those because that allows us to have five different colored shapes. So we can have five different colored borders. And, you know, we like a little variety. Maybe we want to do some things in green and we want to do some things in red or whatever we want to do. We don't want to get rid of elements that we um, don't need to get rid of. All right, so now we've gotten rid of all the border, all the gradient sort of things. And now if we click Apply, magically, right, we have this kind of thing. Yeah, so we've gotten rid of the underlying color. And so now if we click here and we go into the actual Prezi, you can see that we've got this element here. And we've now highlighted a particular element. Um, I don't know if it's actually shaded out or not can uh, kind of go back in and take a look here for a quick second. So we'll go back into the CSS editor and we'll just scroll down and look and make sure that we've got that declared. We don't really want any sort of shading to obscure the underlying element. And so if we go into here and we go back down to circle, we've got border thickness, we've got the color, the radius, the alpha. So what we can do is we can declare the alpha for the circle. Alpha is just the fancy way of talking about um, how you know how transparent something is, and so we'll give it an alpha value of zero. And so if we do that, that should be pretty much all we need to do in order to take care of our. So now if we go in and we go back to sh the show mode, yeah, you can see that we've definitely kind of now there's no kind of overlying color in there. And so as a result, we've kind of isolated the element. If we want to do other things, like we want to change the thickness of the border, maybe we think 5 is too thick, we can go back in and we can go back down to our circle, and we can change the border thickness. So maybe we, oh, we had it for 10. So maybe we want to do it for 7. For instance. And if we click Apply, we can see our change. Yeah, I think 7 is pretty good. And uh, that's the way it works. So now... That being done, we have uh, kind of an object that's maybe a little bit more useful for us if we're trying to isolate elements and diagrams. We can show particular elements and they're not um, obliterated by the kind of color under. We can have different colors because we kept that. Whoops, got rid of that. Sorry about that. We can have different colors, right? And if we want, we can go in and change the input values for the colors as well. And in order to do that, we would just go back in. To the CSS editor and go to all of our different shapes where the colors are declared. And if we find the hex values for those, uh, we can put in the hex values for any colors. All right, so that's uh, a little bit on using the CSS editor and Prezi in order to make things a little bit more. I hope it helps.